infrastructure testing with ServiceBec. So this is just going to be a quick overview of testing your infrastructure using ServiceBec. Um, it's something that's often overlooked, but it's quite easy to set up and integrate into your build processes. Um, companies have always tested their applications for a long time, and if they get it wrong, there's the possibility that they could lose customers because something doesn't work, or and, and also their customers' money, which is the important thing. Um, most people build servers using VMware templates or configuration management tools like Puppet and Ansible, sometimes even just a bootstrap script. So when you build servers, testing the actual build is not considered a priority. You trust that your configuration management tools have actually worked and you don't think about it anymore. And this is probably okay for sort of traditional build scenarios. Um, but if you're building lots of different servers to cater for lots of different teams with different requirements, then it's probably a good idea to get a second opinion on the fact that your servers are built correctly. So in this example, I'm gonna do a quick demo of using ServiceBec, show how easy it is to use it and to test the server build has been successful. So it basically gives us a way to test our infrastructure as code, which is what we're here for. So let's go to the demo. So here we are at the service spec homepage. Um, as you scroll down, you'll see there's some information on how to install and get started using service spec. There's also some tests that you can use. That's a good overview. Have a look at that. There are obviously other test engines out there, but this is the one that we're going to demo today. So if we get our servers up, we can see the tests here that I've already written. We're going to be looking at OpenSSL, Nginx, SSH. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that services are enabled and running, and it will test for that and make sure that we're listening on the right ports. So if we just do a quick run now, and let's see what state our server's in. That's running. Ah, so we can see if we just scroll back up that we can see that some of our tests have failed. And when we look at it, it looks like the Nginx package isn't installed, it's not enabled or listening, and obviously the port 80 isn't there either. So let's go on to our other server. This is our test server. Yeah, it's not listening. So we need to install Nginx. Okay, so now it's installed. Let's go back and see what our tests say now. Ah, so we have now have it installed, but we're still failing because it's not started or enabled and it's not listening on port 80. So let's go back. So obviously this is for testing purposes so you can see things when they work or when they don't work. Normally this would all be done as part of the build process so let's start it up and enable okay and let's run our test again and there we see all our tests are passed so you can imagine the bigger picture here <coughs> you can test several servers at once let's be specific about the tests you want to run on each server and then you get your result whether you pass or fail you know instantly. This can be integrated into certain Jenkins processes if you're looking at CI/CD. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is infrastructure testing as code. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and share.